you probably noticed we've been talking a lot about COVID, I mean, fractions lately. So now it's time to teach you about them. Fractions, not COVID, I mean. And it's one of the easiest things in the world, after breathing. And maybe also eating. Also, I think drinking water... And maybe also colouring in the lines. Anyways, the thing I'm going to teach you today is multiplying fractions. It's super easy. Even this man here can do it. What's 9 plus 10? 21. It's actually easier than adding fractions, so that's why I'm starting with this. Do you know one of the reasons it's easier? It's that fractions are basically division problems, and division and multiplication are in a much better relationship than addition and multiplication, because addition cheated on multiplication with subtraction. Anyways, if fractions are division, that means if I had the problem 1 over 4 times 2 over 3, it's the same as 1 divided by 4 times 2 divided by 3, meaning that I have both division and multiplication in the same problem. That means I can change the problem to look like this. Now it looks like two multiplication problems are being divided. Do the maths and do all the fancy stuff and we get the answer, 2 over 12. You feel a sense of accomplishment, like when you finally finish that one geometry dash level. Long story short, if you multiply the top two numbers, then multiply the bottom two numbers, you get your answer. So let's move on. Before we do this, you gotta know the T, sis. And the T is receptacles. R receptacles. Reciprocals. Reciprocals are a fancy word for switching places, like in that one movie where they switch places. For example, if I had the fraction 1 over 2 and switch the top and bottom numbers, I get 2 over 1. Duh. And that's the reciprocal of 1 over 2. And that's the reciprocal of 2 over 1. And that's the reciprocal of 1 over 2. Oh god, it's a loop. You may be thinking, Bentley, what does that have to do with division? And to that I say, firstly, my name isn't Bentley. That was a lot funnier in my head. And secondly, now that we know recep reciprocals, we can do a very awesome and not at all boring thing that will help us later in life every single day. Now when you have see a fraction division problem, instead you can multiply it by the reciprocal and it'll still be the right answer. And that's kind of helpful, not gonna lie. I have here in my notes, just find an equivalent. I can't think of anything else, so just steal something off the internet and make it look like you made it up. No idiot, don't read everything in the note word for word. Also, make an example of a simplified fraction. Wait. Damn it. Okay, here's an example. Okay, so if I have 2 over 6, right? So if I had 2 over 6. I could simplify 2 and six. down to an equivalent of that. So the lowest equivalent of 2 and 6 2 over six. Four, sorry would be 1 third. I know I'm a bit of a genius. Anyway, that's all I have time for. I got to do some more maths like for example when I have th one whole and I tr subtract 1 third now I have 2 thirds. And that's what this is all about. Remember to like and subscribe and also tell your teacher to show you this video or else you have to watch the born normal ones. Hope you enjoyed. Please don't make me ever do this again. Goodbye. Damn, this sleepy tea really...